All right, here we go. <clears throat> Welcome to Design World. Today's first design is right out of my book, An American in Paris. Uh, it's simple, kale and a few other items. There's your purple kale. I like to give you close-ups on the camera since I don't have my cameraman here today. There is your purple kale. It's kind of hot right now in flower design. Um, it doesn't hold up forever, so I'm a little hesitant to use it unless it's for a special event or party. So, here we go. This is my all kale design, pretty much. I took my floral foam, I dropped it into my pot. I'm going to cut this and leave it slightly above the rim. The reason you leave it above the rim is for horizontal movements into your foam, so you get a full arc of color. If you put your foam level or below, in order to hit the flowers, you're going to have to do this. You're going to miss half of the arrangement. Then I'm going to cut this spare piece in half, and I'm going to use it to block in this other piece. Make it nice and sturdy, like that. I know you know florists, I know you know florists out there, who tape their foam back and forth with tape. Floral tape, Davy tape actually it's called. I don't. I block it in like this. It's more secure, faster, more design surface area. And more importantly, I'm charging my client for every little piece of foam. It's a little dry in the middle, so it's gonna need a little more water when I'm done, fill it up. Uh, this is Oasis, it soaks in about 35 seconds. So, here we go. I'm almost done with this arrangement, so don't blink. I'm gonna take my kale, I'm gonna give it a cut, a nice angle cut, and I gotta figure it out. How many do I have? I have five, so I can do four, and one in the middle, or you do five in a ball like that. I'm gonna do it just the way they came. How easy is this stuff? So I'm gonna put a nice angle cut, and I'm gonna hold it by the head, and I'm gonna drive it right to that bone. There's one. Not too long a step, you don't need to go too deep. There's two. Oop, I'm hitting the other one. Alrighty, there's two. There's three. Yeah, really, not long step short. Uh, not too long a step. Here comes number four. See, nice angle cut. Opens up more of the capillaries, yes, to upset water, and it will go into your foam better. Here comes number five. So, we have a nice, I'm going to move these in a little bit so we don't have big space in the middle. And that's where we're at. A bowl of kale. It's pretty alright. Now, I'm going to adjust these a little bit so they all look properly placed. And now what are we going to do with my bowl of kale? I wish I had one in the middle, but guess what? I don't. We can probably put a little, maybe a little. I'm winging this, by the way, people, as we go. Let's do this. We'll put a little uh, uh, smaller green hydrangea right in the middle of our, our kind of earthy organic. There, that's cute. I just made that up. What's your name? I'll name it after you. I'll call it. Do the Betsy uh, 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 treatment on that design. So we put a little bit of um, uh, uh, hydrangea in the middle and then we've got our greens. I bought lots of greens today at the market. We've got Heather. Heather kind of goes with uh, kale, kind of like Looks kind of like uh, Peter Cottontail and stuff. Look, it looks like little rabbit tails. Uh, uh, so I'm going to put uh, a little bit of white heather. You don't see this every day on the market. But it sure is pretty. So here we go. Watch carefully. I'm going to stick a little heather in the cracks. I call it the mortar between the bricks. If you put this on a food table, people would probably pick up chips and start dipping in it because it looks like a bowl of dip. So here we go, I'm continuing adding a little bit of Heather. And I don't think I'm gonna add, be adding a whole lot more. How long does it take me, 30 seconds? So you see how I'm filling in the cracks? It's pretty. Little cottontails. Uh, you could do pine and cedar and balsam if I had some, since it's uh, uh, winter time. Uh, I'm debating. You 
could add berries for a little more color. Uh, I think I know what I'm going to add. It's time to do a little bit of magnolia leaf. That has sort of a crusty, organic y, earthen feel to it. So I'm going to put a little. Uh, little pieces of uh, pretty magnolia in the corners, too. There you go. So I just invented this design. It is modeled after one in my book called American in Paris, available at Barnes & Noble and at my website, flowerschool101.com. And today's whole series is about easy, breezy, fast designing. Look at that. I'm going to bring you a close up on this. So, I just added a little trim of uh, uh, magnolia around the edges. Finish it off, give it a little more of that earthy. Looks like you pulled it out of a, gar a, 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 a cabbage patch in your uh, backyard. Then I go around and I check for any little more places where it needs a little bit more weight. And there's my first design of the day. Give you a close up. And this unique, nice little sort of hand earthenware container. There is your cabbage patch. We'll call it a cabbage patch doll. Your cabbage patch uh, design for today. Uh, perfect for buffet tables, perfect for uh, uh, sitting on the food table. I think it's beautiful anywhere. Very nice. So, design number one. What should we, let's call it the cabbage patch. Uh, retail on this. These are about a dollar and a half. Let's say, I think it was $11 for the bunch of five, so that's $30. This bowl is $20, that's $50. And the rest is another 10 This is at least 60 plus labor, 75 In case you're wondering. You have to know how to price your arrangements if you're going to stay in the business and make money. So, Michael Gaffney with the Cabbage Patch saying, uh, stay tuned. This took me, what, a minute and a half. I've got another three or four designs coming up. You don't want to go away if you want to order flowers. Go to flowerschool101.com, order a single class, or you can go to Michael's Flower Garden, and I will send you bouquets, uh, loose cut flowers in bunches of the week with tutorials on how to do things just like this. All the flowers FedEx overnight to your home, followed by magic spray that seals all these flowers so they last you for weeks and not five days. Anyway, michaelsflowergarden.com. Design number one. I love that one.